Alrighty. So, we completed the game, Pokemon Legends Arceus. We completed the story mode. So now we're gonna... Game audio feels a bit too high. I will try lowering that down some. How about now? I put it at 50% volume. But yeah, we completed the story mode, so now it's time to record the first episode. The first episode of the post game. Bam 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 bam. We're playing the post game. We're at least getting to a spot where I can play off stream. <laughs> so I can work on completing the Pokedex at my own pace. But let's see what the post game has in store for us. Good morning, Ventor. Good morning, Akari. I have not done anything you haven't seen, Galactic, besides a grinding and catching. It looks like the space time rift has vanished. The sky's gone back to normal again. Which I suppose means we'd better get back to our original mission. Completing the Pokédex. We're going to meet in the Survey Corps office to discuss our next steps. See you there soon, Ventor. Okie dokie. So, we now need to complete the Pokédex. I wonder if we could have completed the Pokédex before finishing the game. So many quests. We'll knock them out one at a time. So, I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Yes, yes I did. Indeed. No, cause legendaries. That's a bummer. That only seems natural given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time. Oh, Laventon. I believe last night was the first time I've got a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Laventon, to business. What is the current state of progress on the Pokédex? I dare say we've made quite significant progress all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And of course it is hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokémon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends after all. Who knows if they are even real? With how little we know about Hisui's history and legends, it seems a tall order for us to tackle. Pardon, couldn't help but over here. Uh oh, it's Volo. If it's Hisui's Hisui list, Jesus. I'm gonna take a sip of water and gonna try that again. If it's Hisui's history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Well, I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead of, uh, <clears throat> I mean, while well, also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I've visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. I like how he just appears out of nowhere, almost like he saw what or knew what we were going to talk about. Oh ho! Music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Ventor. You are to learn all you can from the merchant Volo and work together as needed. For the sake of the Pokedex. 
Mir, mir, oui, 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 oui. Words are hard. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Understood. You know, I'm going to give him the wish wash voice. That I give uh, the one guy from Fossil Fighters. Understood. I'll shut up at the Heights Camp then. Ventor, I'll be expecting you. The Researcher of Myths. Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too. So I hope you won't be keeping me waiting. Yeah, boy. So many quests. Woo! That's a Lucario with a quest. Neat. I have no clue, Galactic Nut from Gerby. No clue whatsoever. I'm just gonna go at my own pace right now. Because I don't know how much of the post game we're going to do, if we're going to complete the Pokédex or what. We will go to the Heights Camp. We'll probably eventually 100% this game, but not for a long time. I'm not going to make a YouTube series about that. I did that with uh, Yokai Watch and not interested in doing it again. <laughs> Vintor, there you are. Have a look here if you will. A good long close look, please. See those patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think they might be debtors. Rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. Exactly. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon and his shad, went on a journey to search for the fragments of a an all-encompassing deity. One of those looks like Arceus, Regigigas. I see Mesprit, Azelf. I guess that one might be Yuxi. There's probably Cresselia somewhere in there. And uh, the four Landorus. A couple of them are really easy to tell, while a couple others aren't. A deity? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard this name. Does sound familiar. Of course! What else would I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? For now, let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the fringy nobles. <laughs> exactly, Galactic Knight. Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the... Oh. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So, what do you say, Venture? 
I think we should try to gather all the plates. And I've got just that idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. Grueling Grove. I don't think I know where that is. What is this? Oh, here's Grueling Grove. Well. We're gonna see what else we have. For Bolo. Wow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, chicka, wow, wow. Ooh, that's an Alpha Stantler. I don't know why, that just looked really weird. Isn't there supposed to be a flying Gyarados somewhere over here? Okay, good, we're heading the right way. Fly, Braviary. Fly, fly like the wind. And dive, dive like the wind. Now, Ventor, according to my own investigations. What? An Alpha Vespa Queen? Terribly sorry, Ventor, but do you think you could handle it? Yep, yeah, no problem. I like Vespa Queen's design, however I do think male combi need to evolve. With the power of luck to get a 1.8% chance Ventor. What does the 1.8... Huh? Are you talking about, um... Shinies? I think we're gonna use Shadow Bug. Raja Style. Extra uh, uh, Shadow Bug. Uh oh. I think Hades just got knocked out. Josh is okay. Ooh, for Coral Mon. Yeah, we're gonna get around to playing. Oh, well, we still have Palkia on our team. We need to swap Palkia out because it's not a ghost type. I believe you need to use Wavecraft. Here's one. Here's two. And three with a strong style. I think that Vespin Quinn knows it's about to faint. Bye bye Vespa Quinn. I attained the stone plate. Why was a Vespa Queen guarding a stone plate of all things? You think it would have been the bug plate or insect plate? I know Cleavor gave us the insect plate, but Cleavor is also a rock type. It would have made sense for Cleavor to give the stone plate and then the Vespa Queen to give us an insect plate. Right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of rock. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the rock tap. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find a plate laying around. In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about. So that's that. And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry though, I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. You're talking about Mistress Kogita. The one and only Mistress Kogita, yes. 
You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her help in obtaining the red chain. Am I right? I do more reason to pay her a visit. No, what it probably is is a uh, new form in Scarlet and Violet. That's Bug and Rock type for Vespa Quinn. <laughs> Bug and Rock type Vespa Quinn confirmed for Scarlet and Violet. Show onward to the ancient retreat. Mm. Do we want to? Uh, no, not really. Whoa! Hello, Alpha Heracross. Sorry to disturb ya. We'll just be on our way. Bound chicken wow wow, swapping Palkia out for our drift beam. Ooh, D3DS crashed. Do you need to send your 3DS in to get it fixed like your computer? Am I going the right way? Yeah, basically. I don't want to get too far into the story. Because I mostly just want to get to a spot where I can do stuff off stream without running into like post game story. Oh yeah, we have to talk to the professor. Might be. I got you confused with hoverboard again. I don't know why I've been doing that. I keep confusing you with hoverboard. Your Pokemon catching efforts are quite clearly bearing fruit. How about a report then? <laughs> I like how it's only just Palkia. Oh ho! It seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Uh huh. Oh, the most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Dang, we need to use Shuttle Ball a lot. What would we like to do now? We want to return to the village. And I have some points I owe all of you in chat. By the way, nobody answered the question of the day yesterday. It making me sad. All right, added the points, added the points, 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 points. Now we need to swap Hulkia out. <laughs> I love how Dialga's just chilling. <laughs> oh, hi, Dialga. Uh, oh, QOTD. Alrighty. Floral Main Street. <laughs> Galactic Night with the dad joke. Alrighty, I think we're actually gonna stop that video here. For the YouTube Bit Shoot and Rumble. If you're on YouTube Bit Shoot and Rumble, make sure you leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, rumble, follow, do all that fun stuff. Every little bit helps. We appreciate each and every one of you. We're probably going to do a little uh, grinding here in Pokemon Un uh, Legends Arceus before we swap over something else. <laughs>